former rector of the University for Professional Studies, Professor Joshua Labi, is challenging an Auditor General report demanding that he refund some 300,000 Ghana cities in legal fees paid out during his tenure. The Auditor General, in its report of public boards, corporations, and other statutory institutions, directed that the money paid as legal fees to private legal firm Little Brew and Company would have to be refunded because no work was done. We'll hear from Professor Joshua Labi shortly, but here's an excerpt of the report by Elting Brobe capturing the adverse findings against a former UPS director and some financial irregularities flagged at the University of Cape Coast, among others. In the review, management of UPS signed a retainer agreement dated 14th March 2014 and paid an amount of 263,000 Ghana cities to law firm Little Brew and Company as retainer fees, but there is no evidence of the provision of any legal service to the university. The report also noted that Little Brew and Company was appointed through sole sourcing without recourse to the provision of the Public Procurement Act 2016. The Auditor General advised that the former Vice Chancellor, Professor Joshua Labi, and Little Brew and Company be made to refund the amount with an interest at the prevailing Bank of Ghana interest rate. The report further advised that management set up a legal directorate that shall facilitate all legal matters for the university to the Attorney General's department. Two officers of the University of Cape Coast, Kwame Feyi, a senior administrative assistant of the University Accra office, and Francis Arthur of the University of Cape Coast Enterprise did not account for a total revenue of 55,000 Ghana cities collected between June 2017 and April 2018. Also, contrary to provisions in the Financial Administration Regulation, the report noted that the College of Distance Education paid an amount of 1.3 million Ghana cities to two contractors for the supply of materials in transit, but the items were never supplied. The items were paid through various certificates issued without indication to items, quantity, unit costs, and others. The audit team did not cite any documentary or physical evidence that such materials had been supplied to the project, even though payments were made to the contractor during the 2012 and 2014 financial year. The Auditor General recommends that management provide a list of items, quantity, unit cost, and evidence of supply to the project to justify the payment, failing which the contractor and the officers who authorize the payment should refund the amount of 1.3 million Ghana cities. President Joshua Labi has described the finding as inaccurate. He tells Gifty and Apia it is untrue that no work was done by the private legal firm Little Brew and Company. In fact, uh, I got to know from Joy FM this afternoon. It has never come to my attention. And I was shocked and surprised that such a report come out. Uh, you know, um, the purpose of audit is to perfect system. The idea is not to go and catch this. When you go with a mindset, uh, you know, um, the purpose of audit is to perfect system. The idea is not to go and catch this. When you go with a mindset of going to catch this, you may do a shoddy job like this. You get down. And audit as with these students is to help to perfect system. Now, you see, uh, and it is also not true that Tonita never represented the school in any legal system. No, 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 no. There were a lot of legal cases that were referred to Tonita where he went to court on our behalf. So, you see, I thought that before you come out with a report. You should have gone to the people you are citing for what you call it, um, some clarification before you proceed. But when you are hurry to portray as if you have done your job, and for that matter, others are thieves, then you are saying, who are you? You follow up. And I think that it is not fair to people who sit in position. I want them to come and tell me to come and pay their money officially, then we proceed.